this? That is the Old Elephant Foot IPA. So we got the Core 8. It's literally their core beers. Um, the ones that are not seasonal or experimental. So they're kind of the house favorite, if you will. So there are, let me see here. There's the IPA, which Dana's about to try. There's an APA, American Pale Ale. There's a Stout, an Amber Ale, a Blonde Ale, a Barley Wine, a Subtropical Porter, and a Hefweizen. That is delicious. You like that one? Very subtle, not overpoweringly IPA. Of course you would like it because it's an IPA. It's old very, Foot it's not IPA. Not highly citrusy or anything, it's delicious. That's a great beer. Maybe the best IPA I've ever had. No. It's delicious. You like it that much? Yeah. <laughs> it says aggressively hopped, high and dry hopped American IPA. Aroma is citrus and hints of pine, subtle malt notes, true hop heads, beer heaven. 7% ABV. That's really good. Why don't you finish that one first, baby? For all the tasting notes and our opinions on all of them, I think I'll just kind of link that below on this video as well as it'll be on the blog. So Delicious. So far, these have all happened. We are now tasting this one here. And I just wanted to be known that we don't like it. It tastes like alka seltzer with a little bit of flavor. It's terrible. It's pour it down the drain with the So what you're saying is you're not going to drink another sip of it? I don't want to drink Okay. Well, that's, you know, seems like a huge problem. I'm going to try one more. I feel like you're staring at me. It is. Judging. You're making a stank face. You're making the beer stank face. No one believes you. They can't see it. <laughs> Stop making that face. I wish I could show them. I'm going to show them. Hey, 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 hey. Don't pull the camera like this. Funny. You know. Please. Re, uh, can you elaborate on the face uh, that you made? I can only made? do it if I drink because it'll inspire the taste. I think you should drink. Let me read to the people what this is first. So this basically, you, as you noticed, yes it's settled, it's considered we ate first. Um, there's no head at all, so it's not smooth. It's a high concentration of, of wheat and yeast in this one, for sure. So it says an exceptionally light colored beer fermented at a slightly lower than normal ale temperature, which tends to make it taste a little bit chalky. Um, it gives like a, like stanky bitterness to it without having a bitter flavor, if that makes sense. Um, to produce a smooth, crisp, and slightly citrus finish. I don't taste any citrus at all, to be honest. That would make Nothing. it better. I don't taste it. Um, expect a light bodied ale with a slight hop in it. I don't, it's also not hoppy, to be honest. Not a light beer, just light in color and body. It almost has a white wine like wine cooler type of uh, color to it. But this is this is my true interaction after I take a sip of it. Okay, so I'm glad that, that wasn't being filmed. But what just happened, basically, is something I'd like to talk about a little bit deeper. So, <laughs> to be a snob is to have your, like, nose turned up, right? To be, like, kind of stuck up. Well, I think if you're a beer snob, your nose needs to be turned up a little bit because if you sniff this thing too intensely, that shit's going up your nose. Which is what happened to me just now. I breathed the beer. I can't tell if it's going to make me drunk quicker or anything, but it definitely made me kind of like twitch a little bit. And just basically a little bit sad. So. <laughs> Don't breathe your beer in. Don't sniff it that hard. 
don't have your snob turned up to that degree. Okay, so here's, listen. This one doesn't really have a scent at all, and I expected it to have some kind of scent, but it just doesn't. So I was like really trying to like, you know, get in there. Can you bit. recreate it for no, us? No, not gonna happen. Can you recreate the no. sucking See? of the beer through <laughs> your nose? No, and I have a tendency of sniffing things so intensely that, you know, they may or may not go in my nose. But the time that I've sniffed, what was it, body wash? Remember that? Yes. I'm like, I like to, okay, shampoo a body wash, I like squish the bottle to puff a little bit of air so that it puffs into my nose. And I've done that before. I was like squishing the bottle a little bit, but it just like in my face, in the middle of my store, like in the aisle. And one time, yes. Vayner wasn't with me, and there was just a bunch of strange men. And I was in the men's aisle trying to get a new body wash for him. And I was like, just, you know, happy as a clam, just doing this puffing thing. I'm like, can't tell if I like it, so I did more. And it was like on my face, all this blue liquid all over. And I like, literally, <laughs> like. And then I just get judgment, and I ran out of the aisle. I don't go back to that line. So. <laughs> Don't inhale your beer through the nose. Okay. Or body wash for that matter. This is, the, this is the last one. Red Eye Amber Ale. It's good. Not on the nose, but it's good in the mouth. It's good. It's like a whole shopping center. Yeah, In a rooster? Like a whole... Hard to know. We have already seen one rooster. Improv bar and showroom. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm being stared at. You feel like you're being stared at? Oh, good. And we're super active on Instagram and Facebook, so you can see a lot of stuff. Really? About this? Oh, yeah, you have a great day. How about this hat? Hey there, Charlie Chaplin. What are you doing? That would be the hat for you, baby. Everything from messenger bags, so I like all the messenger bags that are right here.
Here, look at the huge specimen of, of petrified wood. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, this is gorgeous. You usually don't see it that big. It's completely intact. It's an entire... Heavy yeah, well, yeah, of course. Are you the owner? Yeah, yes. Where do you find all this stuff? Are you Little curating cover. it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me and my business partner, um, we go around and buy things. We get invited over to private estate sales and, you know. Very cool. Storage sheds. Reminds me of the stuff. show Oddities. Have you seen that show? Yes. Oh, yep, yes. yep. This looks like straight out of Oddities. It's pretty crazy. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I looked it up on Yelp and we saw pictures and I was like, oh, if we go to Ebor, we need to check this place out. Yeah, you have good reviews on Yelp, so I'll add to them. Thank you.